Today we're here to celebrate the union of Monique and Gregory as they come together in marriage. They've asked us to be here as witnesses and supporters of the commitment that they will share together. About six years ago, Monique and I met at Cortland State, specifically at a dance class for Cortland Dance Company. And at the time, we both had just transferred to the school, so we didn't know anyone, but thankfully, since Monique is as outgoing as she is, she's the one who reached out to me to be her dance partner. I truly felt like Monique took me under her wing, brought me into her family, so I'm very thankful about that. The more time we spent together, the closer we had got, and I think it's safe to say I can call you more than a best friend, I can call you my sister. Let me tell you a little bit about growing up with Greg. We met in the 90s. <laughs> we had a great childhood and I adored having him as a brother, but not once did I ever feel like I wasn't included or cool enough to be around. Everyone knows him as someone they can count on. He has always shown up and is extremely supportive. I had a first row seat to that loyalty and protection that Monique now gets in a husband. When I had first met Greg, I liked him immediately. He is the goofiest, but hardworking, so smart, and most importantly, he has shown Monique from the very beginning what true love really is. On this day, all I would wish is the two of you the greatest happiness for the rest of your lives. It might come with a mix of good and bad, but they're only there to test your love for one another. So be true to each other and never stop believing in yourselves and one another. I've known Gregory for quite literally his entire life. When Monique and Gregory had asked me to officiate their wedding, I was pretty shocked. I wanted to ask them, are you really sure you want to do that? All joking aside, I'm honored to be here in order to celebrate this gift that we're given. And that is the gift to love one another. We all have the ability to choose to love whom we please. And I believe that marriage brings out the best kind of love in us. We have to make compromises to give to our spouse what they desire. At first, you may think that sounds strange, but it is the most powerful way to show our love to one another to give up our own life for the life of another. Craig, marrying you today is the easiest decision I have ever made in my entire life. The months, days, and moments leading us to our wedding day has been nothing but extraordinary. And you remind me time and time again why I fell in love with you in the first place. Dear Monique, I never thought I would meet the love of my life in a McDonald's parking lot, but here we are. Today, 1,263 days after I got on one knee in Niagara Falls. I know that today I am more ready than when they jumped the gun on playing our song at the Giacoma Hotel leading to our engagement. Sitting here thinking about how it all started and how far we have come has been such an amazing adventure and one that I can't wait to be on with you for the rest of our lives. Thank you for loving me and accepting my quirks and for the endless laughter. Even though I'm not a crier, I guarantee you my emotions will be doing some crazy things when I see you walk down the aisle. You are beautiful inside and out and I cannot wait to face this life with you by my side. I can't wait to see you at the altar and celebrate our love surrounded by family and friends. See you soon. Don't get cold feet. In these past five years, we've already been through some hard times, challenging times, and amazing times, all proving that you and I together, we can make it through anything, good or bad. I can't wait to call you Mrs. Parker. Now wipe those tears off your face before your makeup starts running, and let's get the show on the road. Yeah, light the candles and we'll start again I'm gonna count to ten and come find you You know I'm gonna find you
tell by the way I'm looking at you this is real this is how I feel I'm falling into you Monique yeah do you take Greg to be your husband yes to live together in the covenant of marriage I do do you promise to love him comfort him honor and keep him in sickness and in health and forsaken all others, be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. I do. Gregory, do you take Monique to be your wife, to live together in the covenant of marriage? I do. Do you promise to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaken all others, be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? I do. By the power vested in me, I now pronounce you Mr. and Mrs. Gregory Parker. You may kiss the bride. <laughs>